Hey, welcome back. Ellis B. Feaster here with Ellis B. Feaster's radio channel, where we keep radio from the past alive. Today, we're going to New York City and 1190 WLIB. Back in the early 1970s, many African Americans in New York felt radio stations were not addressing their concerns or covering issues they were concerned with. Several black leaders in New York decided they were going to do something about it. They got together, pulled their resources, and decided to buy a radio station. Percy Sutton, who was Malcolm X's former attorney and then Manhattan Borough President, formed Inner City Broadcasting Corporation. And with the backing of a group of black investors, including radio vet Hal Jackson, they bought WLIB. And then later, they bought WLIB's sister station, WLIB-FM, and they changed their calls to WBLS. Throughout the 70s, the station competed head-to-head -head against 1600 WWRL. But in 1980, WLIB decided it would go in a different direction and go after New York's West Indian and Caribbean population, playing reggae, calypso, and soca, and other sounds from Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados, St. Vincent, Grenada, and Haiti. I gotta thank my friend Rob Frankel, who passed this air check along to me. This air check features WLIB during its Caribbean days with Malcolm Davis from 1981. Let's check it out. It's 1190 WLIB, New York. For the 31st day of January 1981. Well, Sugar Mine had always with something good to listen to, and he's quickly made it to the top 10 chart. This week, the number nine record on Caribbean Top 10 Countdown. Sugar Minot and the new one, Sandy. Sugar Minot at WLIB and Sugar doing it one more time for you. It's 17 minutes now past 8 o'clock at WLIB as we count down the most wanted 10 tunes in New York. Top 10 Caribbean tunes here in New York City. This week, it's Sugar Minot, and he's got the number nine record on the chart, Sandy. We move along now to the number eight position. This week, number eight on the Caribbean Top Ten. The man who's very familiar with being on the Top Ten is Gregory Isaacs now. And just because I fell in love on a Sunday morning, it well, means you got the number eight record this week. Gregory Isaacs, WLIB. <laughs> This week on the Top Ten Chart, Bob Marley and the Whalers, number seven, We and Them. We don't know how we and them are going to work. Bob Marley and the Whalers at WLIB, We and Them. That's the album Uprising, which has done so nicely for Bob and the rest of the band. This week, We and Them, number seven on the Caribbean Top Ten in New York. Gregory Isaacs, we heard before that, and a great sound from Gregory, Sunday morning, and that's the number eight record this week on the Top Ten. Ellis Rita Marley would say, as far as that goes, who feels it knows it, I guess. It's 27 minutes now past 8 o'clock, WLIB. This week, number six on the Caribbean Top Ten. Drop down from number one. Number six for Rita Marley, and who feels it certainly does know it. Don't they? Rita Marley's Who Feels It Knows It at WLIB. This week, the number six record on the Caribbean Top Ten as we move briskly ahead now. This portion of the Caribbean Top Ten in New York is brought to you by the law offices of Dr. Ira J. Sands, who says he hopes you enjoy the Top Ten every week. This is Buddy Mac now. Number five on the Caribbean Top Ten in New York. Great Soka Calypso sound from London. Big hits. Twenty-two before nine o'clock, WLIB time. That's Mr. Bunny Mac there. And let me love you this week on the Caribbean Top Ten in New York. Bunny Mac's Let Me Love You, the number five record. Mr. Bunny Whaler and Walk the Proud Land. Bonnie Whaler from his new album, Walk the Proud Land. This week, the number four record on the Caribbean Top Ten. 
Number three this week, WLIB's top ten survey, computed by checking all the local record stores in New York. It's Arrow, number three, and Soka Rumba. 16 minutes before 9 o'clock, WLIB time is 21 degrees and sunny. New one from Arrow at WLIB's Soka Rumba. This week, Arrow has the number three record on the Caribbean top ten in New York. It's the music of Barron and Give Me the Water. Timely piece of music from Barron this week, number two. That's Baron at WLIB and Give Me the Water. This week, the number two record on the Caribbean Top Ten in New York. Give Me the Water, Baron number two. Well, we're down to the number one song this week at two minutes before nine o'clock at WLIB as we finish up our Top Ten survey. And we remind you, if you've missed any part of it and you'd like to catch it again, Ken Williams this afternoon will be running down these same tunes for you. Well, this week's sort of a surprise, as it was a surprise last week when it was the number two record on the Caribbean Top Ten. Now up to number one. First time a person not from the Caribbean has done it, but the only reason she and her band managed to do it was because the record sold very, very well in the Caribbean music stores. And, in fact, people all over New York and all over the country are enjoying her rendition of this reggae tune. It's the tide is high. This week, number one, it's Splendid. <laughs> That's Deborah Harry and Blondie at WLIV, and strangely enough, number one this week on the Caribbean Top Ten in New York, and the tide is high. Obviously, Blondie doing very, very nicely in all of the Caribbean record stores all over New York. Up in Zimbabwe, I went for holiday, I've traveled the cliffs of Zimbabwe, to see Mugabe take over. Thanks for all your telephone calls. We did get a winner this time around in our Black History Quiz. We thank you once again for calling, and we will have another chance for you to win a little bit later this morning here at the sound of 1190. For 81, big procession, for the first ever That's the one and only Lord Kitchener at WLIB and a brand new song from Kitch, Soka Queen, Soka Jean, they call her, at the sound of 1190. And of course, this week's Soka Calypso Hotshot at WLIB. (laughs) 